they're, they're not going to the playoffs this year. And I'm not sure Deion Sanders is ever going to get them to the playoffs because I don't think he has the patience. Everyone will talk. People will talk. I mean, that's who they are. But the bottom line, every story has a protagonist and an antagonist. I'm your girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick. Let's get into it, y'all. Wow. Talk about Paul Pinebaum and what he said about Colorado not being relevant and he don't see Dion taking them to the playoffs and all of this <laughs> estroness, I call it estroness. And, you know, I truly believe people say things to try to get uh, aroused out of people, you know, not paying this any attention, y'all. Uh, for one thing, he knows that he took over a program that had a lot of issues and he's really reshaping it right now. So he have a lot of good things going. He had Warren Sapp. He brought Warren Sapp in uh, on the defensive side. And also uh, Pat Sherman uh, will have a full off season to get the guys ready. And once again, I'm Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick. Y'all can drop y'all comments. Let me know what y'all think about it. But I'm basically not going to dwell too much on it because it's really silly. Yeah, and no one knows what the future holds. And Paul, if you're able to see the future, you know, let me know what number's about to drop. <laughs> you know what I mean. But anyway, to get back on it, y'all, um, Colorado Buffalo, they do have a schedule coming up, which is going to be pretty challenging. And, you know, like I said, it's nothing always uh, too easy. If everything was so easy, everybody would be so happy every day, you know. And then uh, let's go back to the part which he says something about uh, Colorado is everyone's Super Bowl. We're to say that I basically believe he meant that the uh, no rottery. you know, that's what he's speaking about. Speaking about celebrities, athletes. You have Rock, you have Master P, Little Wayne, the people who know them. You got a lot of people see them do well, and you have people who don't want to see them do well. That's just life. You know, you really cannot focus too much and get fixated on what everybody's talking about because people will talk. You know, even, let's say, even just speaking hypothetically, he does take his team to the playoffs and win the championship, it still will be a backlash. It still will be a lot of talk about it. They will say, well, he got so many recruiters. He got this. He got that. So, boo. So, let's get back to um, the whole dynamic about it. But I love to hear Dion. Um, I love to hear him talk about his team and the greater scope. He's looking beyond the wins. And most coaches would just worry about the wins and a paycheck. I'm just keeping it 100. But his concern is about their academics and making sure guys not getting in trouble, their GPA, and et cetera. You know, he have Shador Shallow and the other guys, you know, that they build uh, relationships and chemistry, you know, and that's what it's about, really, you know, being able to build chemistry and uh, reach a common goal, you know, it's going to be a challenge for him to try to get everybody jailing together. You know, like I said, it's nothing easy. So it's going to take a lot of work. But I truly believe the first thing which is going to cause that will cause them to win games would be their offensive line. If they worked on their offensive line and their defensive line, they should be pretty good because they have a, a new guy. Uh, they say he's a, a great player like Travis Hunter. His name is Woodson. And they say he's real good. So they have a lot of pieces to be added to their team. So I believe that um, I believe they they will be uh, pretty good. But like I said, you know, it's going to take time. It's not going to be anything overnight. You know, it might take a few seasons or two or three seasons to get uh, the team where, you know, he want it to be. Because basically, he's just trying to build a foundation, take time. 
So I'm your girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick. And, you know, I just hope the best for Dion and the Buffaloes. And, uh, you know, like I said, August the 29th, they will be playing a North Dakota. I believe they will work diligently to try to win. You know, even if Dion, if they win seven games, it's still uh, a great improvement to where they were. They won four games last year. And a year previously from that, I believe they barely won any games. <laughs> so anyway, I'm out, y'all. God bless you.